Oh man, he's stuck pretty good. He's not even pulling. Oh man, I feel it just rubbing. Oh, what a disappointment. This is a big fish. Hey everybody, my name is John and welcome to the first episode of Faith and Fishing. In this video, I was able to go out on the Manatee River with my kayak and do some bridge fishing. I was actually targeting sheep's head, which is my favorite fish to target, and I was able to limit out on that day, which was awesome. What I'm going to do also to follow up this video is to actually do a how to catch sheep's head and show you the tips and tricks that I used to be able to limit out on that day. But that's enough dilly dally, let's get right into it. Um, put myself a little bit in the sun and to just better set myself up for, for the tide and how I'm being pushed. So we'll see if we have any activity here. There's a lot of structure. Definitely good for good for snapper, good for sheep's head. We'll see if anybody's home. Oh, fish on. Well sheep's head. Okay. Got one in the boat. These guys will stab the tar out of you. So you gotta be careful when dealing with them because they will spike you. And it hurts. Alright. And they're very jumpy. It's a really good hook on this guy. They need to be 12 inches in order to keep. So you definitely want to measure them. You don't want to take any chances. And, uh, well, first and foremost, follow all regulations, all guidelines. They're there for purpose and intended to help the population and preserve them. I believe these are now down to eight per person that you can keep. So, it's a decent amount still, especially if you have several people on the boat with you. And most importantly, we might um, want to complain. Oh, this guy lost a tooth. Look at that. Sheep said tooth. We want to complain at times, but if we want to stay obedient, not only to the law, but to God, we need to obey the laws of the land. So on both those premises, make sure you measure your fish, and uh, keep them according to the rules. So I just want to measure this guy. Uh, probably my best bet is going to be my paddle. It's got a nice little measuring stick on it. And we'll go according to that. So this guy, pinch of tail, zero. He is right about at 14. He's a 14 inch fish, so he's a legal size fish. We are gonna keep him. And what I'm gonna do is I will bleed him. And I'll do that off camera for posterity's sake. All right, number one in the boat, no skunk. Wondering if I need to get that split shot back on there. It's just kind of floating back out here into no man's land for me. They really prefer to be by the structure. So if you want to try to keep it as close to structure as possible. My line is responding differently than what my kayak is. So it's just a little weird. I am going to put a weight back on here try to get it to, to stay a little bit better. Try to control it a little bit more.
There we go. That's another little decent fish. At least he was fighting like he's decent. I'm gonna get my net out here. Should probably have this ready ahead of time. That'll at least hold long enough to net this guy. Fish number two. in with that hook just in the lip this guy's looking a little bit bigger than the last one not by a ton but bigger nonetheless measurement on him he is definitely legal but just for the sake of knowing just how big he actually is invest in a bump board all right where are we sitting with this guy so he's a 15 inch 15 inch fish Right, fish number two. Beautiful fish right there. Typically have seven of these black lines, these black stripes. Um, the drum, black drum, has a lot of the same features, not as many. They're wider stripes, and as they get older, they disappear, they start to fade, and they go kind of just to a black gray color. But that's the sheep's head there, number two, keeper. Really hoping to be able to limit out on these guys today. Take some dinner home to the wife and to the girls. All right, let's keep going. All right, so we've got fish number two in the boat. Looks like the trick was <clears throat> to throw it back into the structure and try to keep it there. So that's what we're gonna do again and keep repeating that. Find what works and do it over and over again until you catch your limit. This is my favorite kind of fishing. Love fishing for sheep's head, and they are just one of the best tasting fish, I think. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't gotten any snapper bite yet, but I'm targeting sheep's head, so it's all right, but I don't mind mixing in a couple of snapper in there, that's for sure. So one thing you see me doing a lot is you see me picking up my rod tip um, fairly often. And what I'm doing is I'm just checking for any, any weight, checking to see if anybody is nibbling down there. Like I said, they're very, they're very sneaky. See that? Oh, it's a, that's a stronger fish. Not sure if he'll keep, probably not. Probably not. But we'll see if it quiets down here. We'll uh, make the trip over there and see what we get. Uh, I do have, do have frozen shrimp and I do have frozen sand fleas that we can give a try if they want a different flavor. 
I'm sure if we start dropping some shrimp down, then we'll get some attention from the snapper. Oh, there we go. That's a nicer fish. Oh, come on. What kind of a... Boogan is this going on here? This is my first day fishing. But I am fairly new to kayak fishing, so usually I'm on a boat. <clears throat> Fish off of a skiff, usually. So, I'm not used to the confined quarters. That obviously makes it more challenging. Definitely more difficult. Just for the simple fact that you can't uh, move around as freely or as easily as you would be able to in a boat. This guy's digging into this net from every angle. So he's probably around that that 14 range. He's got this thing down there a little ways, not too far. We are going to keep him, so I'm not too worried about hurting the fish because he is going to be dinner. All right, though that came out really easy. Didn't have to grab it. Get a general measurement on him. Your biggest concern is, is he bigger than 12 inches? The answer here is yes, he's about, he's 15 inch fish. So we've got our fourth fish in the boat. These next two fish came later on in the day. They were the two biggest fish of the day and one of the things that I did with them was to start doubling up my crabs on the hook that produced larger fish. Unfortunately, my camera was angled up when I took it out of the bag in the afternoon and these fish did not make it into frame. You catch a glimpse of one at one point. But I'm gonna add some pictures on this screen here so you can see what they look like and how big they were. All right, so I wasn't recording, so I'm running out of space, but the bite has turned back on. And this is my third one since the bite came back. And it's a decent sized keeper. So we're gonna get him oh, measured up. He's a little bit heavier, it seems, than the other ones were. So that's good. I also need to figure out how to downsize my tackle. I've got too much on here right now. This guy's pretty fat. This guy is pretty thick compared to the others. I think it's probably the biggest one of the day right now. Oh. Whoa. Okay, this guy will mess me up with his little spikes. Needs to chill out. I gotta get my hands on him. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's fighting. Oh no, he wrapped me up. Come on loose. Come on loose. Stuck on something. I'm gonna let the line loose. Hopefully he'll come out of wherever he's stuck on. Oh man, he's stuck pretty good. He's not even pulling. Oh man, I feel it just rubbing. Oh, what a disappointment. This is a big fish. Let it sit for a little bit, see if he comes out. Oh, I think he's out. Yep, oh, this guy's big, come on out of there. Oh, come on, don't, 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 don't. 
is towing me around. Get away from those pilings. I don't want you to... I don't want you to break this line. Come on over here. Oh, get away from the piling. Get away. All right. Nice. Nice fish to end it with. Some nice fish. I'm very happy with that. Great way to finish up. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime we release new content. With that, tight lines and be blessed.